Hi, I'm Rob from Access TV. We're here at Diagon Alley, and this is all part of the new Harry Potter studio tour at Leavesden Studios in London. And we're going to be having a chat to some of the stars of the film to see what they make of it all. So let's check it out. Fantastic. Um, so Natalia, yes. your character Tom, she can change her face. Yes. And she can change her nose as well. I was just wondering, what would you change your nose into if you could? What would I change my nose to? I change. Did you ever see that program, Bewitched? Yes. Wish I could do that and just make anything happen. I'd have that kind of nose. That'd be very yeah. useful. I <laughs> very imagine. useful. Yeah. Um, also, this this whole exhibition it's amazing. It's, you, I imagine you must have worked on loads of kind of projects where you do the work, the set gets boxed up and then put away, and you never see yeah, it of again. Course. Um, what's it like then coming back to see this? You must have like loads of memories just walking around here. I mean, you know, how does it feel coming back and seeing all this here? Um, it's pretty overwhelming, and also so much of it I didn't see because I wasn't in so much of it, especially all the Hogwarts stuff. So it's, I get to see all that. It's, yeah. it's great. I'm so, I'm so excited about showing my friends and family about tomorrow and with the opening. It's going to be a big day. Wicked. And uh, talking of massive fantasy productions, mm. you're also in a Game of Thrones. Yes! And I was just wondering, how could those kind of two things compare? Um, completely different. Mm. You know, well, for a start, it's kind of, when I was in Harry Potter, especially in the first one, you know, I was kind of, I was 21 when I started. The kids were younger. And, and the older actors were older. You know, I was kind of in the middle. Mm. Whereas in Game of Thrones, we, there is a, there's a very definite age group that we're all, so it's, we all go out and party together. We work hard together. It's kind of, in a way, it's kind of, I, I feel closer to some of the people just because they're the same age group and we're there. Also, we're on location, we're in Belfast. So you bond more when you're away. Mm. So um, how, what do you prefer working on? like? in studios like this? I mean, how does it differ acting in a studio? Do you have to kind of change how you perform? You know, does it affect how you perform when you're, Compared like, to on, what? When you're like on location and somewhere? Can, you know, if you're on location in Belfast, can it, you know? No, the difference is it's just colder, but even saying that, studios can be freezing. I did Shameless in January and it was freezing indoors. Um, so not really, I mean, as long as the props are amazing and the actors are, that you're working with give you a lot of love, it's brilliant. Okay, so you must like love working on big budget fantasy productions. What are you going to do when like Game of Thrones finishes? You have to find another massive fantasy production. Yeah, hopefully. Work. No, no. I mean, it just happens. It's luck of the draw. Mm. I mean, with both Harry Potter and Game of Thrones, I hadn't read or knew anything knew anything about them before I started. Mm. When I did both auditions, I was like, what? And it's only when I got into them and started working, I then become obsessed with them. Read all the books. Read mm. same with Game of Thrones. Read all the books. I think it's just it's pretty lucky. I don't know how I blagged getting. Two fantasy jobs. Yeah, and what do you think of the Game of Thrones books? They're, they're, I think they're, they're amazing. They I think they're absolutely amazing. I, I read all of them on a, I went on tour with my band. I've got a band called Molotov Jukebox, and we went to Brazil and did a tour. And we're sitting in these idyllic beaches, like, and I was just there with the book. I was like, I need to read about incest and death and violence. Please stop talking to me. I know we're in paradise, but, you know, completely hooked. Fantastic. And also, if you could work with any actor who you have not worked with yet, Meryl Streep. Standard, definitely. <laughs> the others from the Game of Thrones, they're horrible and horrifying. Yes. Oh, and uh, if you had to fight one of those as Tonks, which wizard or wiz or witch from Harry Potter would you like alongside you in a fight against a massive um, army of others? Uh, right. Mad Eye, just because he's mental. Like, he, and he'd make it funny. He wouldn't be. Uh, he'd just go for it, you know. Him stick stuff. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking oh, to you. Thank, thank you. you very much.